Welcome to Pokemon Stadium 2 with friends named Scott. I'm Skylar, and with me today, guy not named Callus, Scott. Hello. And we're trying this again with a whole new team. Okay, I have to appreciate how good the CG art is here, man. Like, the trainers, they look unique. Like, they've been straight ripped out of the, um, the main series games there. And it's such a shame that we don't get to see much of that anymore because they changed up the CG art over time. And even with, like, um, I think it was X and Y. They reintroduced the CG art of um, the trainer profiles. So they gave us a Charizard with Ember. Aw, oh, that's an insult. If it had fire, but it has a tract. It has a tract. It's a sexy Charizard. At least um, Dunfin has Defense Coral Rollout. Well, it's good so if you can set it up in this game. Still find the animation for this game really freaking cool. Um, if you get the chance later on, look up a video about, um, the many animations in Stadium, anyways, of Mega Kick. The variations of Mega Kick from Pokemon. It's cool. So they gave me an Exploder this time. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That in has Thunder. Yeah. Go this for, is go a for good... Light Screen. I'll go for Light Screen. Oh, he's flying or digging? Or switching. Must be Don Fan coming in. That was the only ground type she had. Oh, it's Don Pardon me. The electrode's a bit too valuable to just pop on a Don Fan, I think. So, favorite evolution. What is it? Okay, sorry about that. Oh, Someone was asking oh me you straight do... up left. I thought you, like, had... You burped or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not a problem. So, I just... Life, I, like, just as you came back, asked favorite evolution, what is it? Oh, crap. That's a hard question. From Gen 1, it's Flareon. It's gonna be Umbreon. Gen 4, Glaceon. It's your favorite like Gen 6 Sylveon. one. <laughs> Sylveon. If I had to pick is one between. Silly. I, I don't like Sylveon. I mean, it's, it's a cute design, sure, but I don't find it that appealing. I feel it's a little sucks. out of place with the I'm ribbon. Yeah, they went somewhere with a ribbon. I can see the appeal, but it's just not for me. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. Well, we're not. Oh wait, hold continue. on. Gen two. Hyper beam's gonna. It's, it can hyper beam again. Uh, that's Gen one. Gen two, it doesn't yeah. work that way. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go Gengar. Pinsir is like only fighting in normal type moves, unless it unless they randomize that hyper beam and earthquake, in which case the game just hates me. It's scary though. If, um, Pokemon kept the Gemma mechanic of, um, uh, Hyper Beam, letting you continue. Like, and you could still use, like, say, a Choice Band with Hyper Beam. Well, you'd Fine. be using Giga Impact. Nowadays. Yeah, of course. That or Choice Specs for Hyper Beam. Terrifying. Especially with a Pokemon with, say, Moxie for Giga Impact. I think Salamence can run that. I can Their psych Pokemon. up. I could have a plus two Gengar. Hey, you can. I've done this with Spiritomb and it's had relatively good success. I'm gonna try this. Okay. Yeah, that just actually just because it's the first round, I'm gonna try this. Yeah. He can't hyper beam you. I can go to plus four. What does this thing have? I think this poke. Wait, hold on. A Pinsir death wish? Can't... Yeah, no Pinsir, other... Pinsir has no... no moves other than maybe Fury Cutter. It would have won for Earthquake by now if it has it. Give me them boosts. Mm. Fury Cutter. That did nine. Pathetic. Let me show you a proper stab move. I find it cool that. Okay. I think I know the reason why 
ghost attacks are physical. And it's all because of Lick. That would make sense. Lick is a physical move like you Lick. Yeah, in Gen 1. It's gonna be ghostly. Creepy. I think that's what they were going for. Okay, so I have a plus 4 Shadow Ball or I have a super effective Thunderbolt. Plus 4 Shadow Ball. Because I mean... it's physical. Charizard, it's got some special defense, but not so much physical. Did I run? Woo! It flew up high. That's cute. I'm just gonna click Toxic for funsies. Uh, I didn't get a message. You. Okay. I heard a poo. Oh, that did pathetically. And well, it's kind of funny. This is the last gen you would see Fly being used. Like, in, um, in this kind of format. Then no one has ever used Fly competitively. Well, Fly has come back just in Gen 7 because of Z Fly. Fly? Like on Landorus, it sometimes runs Fly for Z Fly. Man, I am spacing. What is the flying moves? What are flying moves called when they're Z'd? Ugh. It's um, bugging me. Bugging and me too. I have not because played a lot of Gen 7 outside of in the league. As refreshing as Sun and Moon may be, they are way too freaking long when it comes to tutorial. Like, I didn't Gen know when the 5, tutorial ended. It was kind of weird. Yeah, it was. Like, that first hour, that's the tutorial. And it's rather insulting, too. Like, it, it's insulting, really insulting tutorials I've ever had to walk through in Pokemon thus far because it assumes that we are so deficient in how we do things that I don't know make up not make up our minds I do get that Pokemon now is it's complicated it's really complicated it's still fairly complicated because of the math needed to understand how crits work catch rate a lot of stuff um, now though oof. there are so many Pokemon and so many moves it's hard to keep up there are over a thousand moves no that's that's true but not accurate as to how much there is in total and most of the Pokemon are water water is a very common type which makes sense because if they're trying to like make a parallel earth there'd like, be a earth lot of water. water yeah yeah earth is mostly water which is kind of funny earth means dirt and it's full of water and water loves dirt the star i don't believe has special defense a lot of physical defense though it is fairly weak to its own type. <laughs> A sandstorm is brewing. Good thing this isn't Gen 5. I can still kill you. Gen... Yeah, it was... Wait, it was Gen 5 that added this effect. In that... All rock and ground and steel Pokemon. It's only rock that get the uh, Spideff buff. Oh. Oh. Rock, ground, and steel are immune, though. Know. Which is yeah, kind of, they are. Which makes sense, but it's also interesting they span it across three types way back in Gen 2. Oh, well, you know what's interesting, though? Stunfisk is potentially the bulkiest um, electric type there is. I'm trying to think of bulky electrics, and I'm only coming up with Ampros. <laughs> Outside of Stunfisk. I'm not. The other one. Eviolite and Sandstorm. But um, it has not as much HP as um, Stumpfisk. Stumpfisk has HP. Like that's a that, that's a good amount you can abuse. I used it in um the f first season of the league, actually. Well, then I thought that Stumpfisk was underrated, so I thought, hey, maybe it's so cool. Yeah, abuse. I was gonna draft it, but then you like picked it up in early rounds. Udo, Udo. You kind of just tore apart my entire PU and RU plans. I do one cool thing though, and it was uh, sweeping with um, Durant against um, a dude named Star. 
is no longer in the league right now after that match. Like, I think he quit entirely. Like, he wasn't even on Twitter. I mean, he still uses Twitter, but you don't see him anymore. Much to my happiness, Splash no longer exists. I mean, Splash is still on Twitter. He just goes by a different handle now. Uh, yeah, Alex CSGO or something like that. Oh no. Like, I don't unfollow people too too often. Um, really I'm doing though. this for Callus. When you think the fucking nukes! Yeah, look, look. <laughs> she became a banana. Yeah, like a, like a Mario Kart banana. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought of, because, like, that's what was my brother growing up. He doesn't remember much, though. Yeah, Gengar. I find it weird that they only have, um, just three letters capped. Uh, they gave us... That's, like, um, how they nicknamed them. In this yeah, they, game uh, It's a um, quick and dirty way of doing it for randomly generating mods. Gem one did. And I do like the one cool hidden feature that Gem one had in that... With the colorings? Colorings. Like, like they it, were... It, I think you'd cut out a little bit. It would be shiny Pokemon. Man, if I didn't have this Gengar, that explosion would have been a mistake. Would be. I could have went into Umbreon. Oh no! Wait, I think we can outspeed this. Oh, we absolutely outspeed it by like, base 30. Gyarados is 81, Gengar is I think 110? Pretty sure that's the one that's 110 and Zam is 120. And, and um, a fun bit of trivia, but um, honestly, people were absolutely baffled as to why. As to why Gengar was fast? Well, yeah, and people said, why not go for Hunter? And I'm like, well, sure, but Ghastly's got oh, much less Oh, you're defense. talking about Ghastly. Yeah, yeah, Ghastly. I, I went for Ghastly in the league because um, it had much less defenses and sure, a bit less speed and special attack, but it still had an immense amount of that. So with Ghastly, it has Levitate. Gengar doesn't have Levitate. Well, back then Hunter it had Levitate. levitate. Back yeah, yeah, the... yeah. It did. And the thing Ghastly could pull off that I thought was the reason why he drafted it over Haunter, that Haunter can't do, is uh, Focus Ash Trick Room Baloney. Well, yeah, at level that. one. That, for sure, but the reason I went for it is because, well, it's very strong but fragile. And you could do some cool stuff with it. Bond. That was one of my favorite things to do with Ghastly. Old strat, but it works. I tried for Trick Room because it, um... I didn't really have the slowest team. I had a mix of um, both. A pure, you know, slow team. I would have went for Trick Room. Not that I would have thought about it at the time. I actually hear a whole bunch of sounds. I don't hear a whole bunch of sounds. I hear the normal amount of sounds. Who's dying? Okay. Get it out. Ooh, it lived. I think I have Gengar. I think I brought Gengar. I hope I brought Gengar. I brought Gengar. You can take it out. Gengar can take this out. And with a simple Thunderbolt. What a really good Gengar. You do. You know what's kind of funny though? Um, Kangaskhan as well as Gengar there have access to Mud Slap in this gen. That they do. A lot of things get Mud Slap. A lot of Pokemon from Gen 2 get Mud Slap. Every Pokemon from Gen 2 gets Curse. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. The only ones that don't, you know, don't really can't really use TMs. It's a sexy oh, Snorlax. I was gonna switch out after the Toxic anyway. Snorlax is an artist and he... The Umbreon should be able to do anything the Snorlax. Or handle anything the Snorlax wants to do. Oh dear. I think it has rest. Yeah, it's randomly generated. It better not have rest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click a reflect right now and start throwing mud in its face. Okay. 
Murphy. Look how little that did, man. Scary. I think Snorlax a lot in uh, Gen 3 with uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. I used it so much because it was so cool. My first shinies because of it. First one being Paris. Because I was uh, grinding away for some uh, tiny tricks. But, um, not only remember moves. Yeah, I think it was just that, remembering moves. My first not Gyarados shiny was a Geodude. I named it Nugget because I'm creative and original. Uh... I think there was a green Gyarados in um Stadium. Maybe with nicknames. I know yeah. there's like teal. I think that's kind of interesting, like a color palette wise. Snorlax has got scurred. I think there are videos and I think an entire website dedicated to how um you can um change the color of your Pokemon just by the nickname and your trainer ID. Changing your trainer ID would be a touch more difficult, unless you mean like the name. Yeah, it means like the name, like, he defines what numbers you will, or letters this are- This polyrath came prepared for mud slap. It used mist. Oh, I mist. still had reflect up. Oops. Oh, it's gonna annihilate you. Uh, it's an Umbreon. I'll probably live this. But, I don't think we lose with the Gengar in the back. This is incredibly frustrating. Yum. The user we absolutely uses a lose. recoiling move. Yeah, like, I find it weird with Gen 1, 2, and I think 3. Unless they fixed it then. Coil moves. It would essentially do little to the foe, but to the user, it deals so much. Except Double Edge. Double Edge still does a lot. Takedown's always been weak. Submission's kind of always been weak. It's a move a lot of Pokemon in Gem 1 can learn, and it's yeah. the only fighting move they could learn. For the most Outside part. And uh, the Machop yeah. line with low kick. Low kick. And uh, Hitmonlee oh. with uh, high jump kick and, me and jump kick. But fighting types were kind of dude in Gen 1. Uh, Gem 1 fighting types were doomed. You know what's kind of sad though? Um, in Stadium, not Stadium, in um, Pokemon XD and the uh, Coliseum, they reused the um, Stadium sprites. That they did. But the Water in a Gate Village is very pretty. They weren't so. Uh, they increased the Thunderbolt does a lot. graphics on them a bit. And something scary about Ghost type is that when they use Curse, they're um dabbing themselves. Takes away 25% every turn. Well, this is game. I don't think the Snorlax can even touch us. Oh, Gengar only did 13 damage to a Snorlax. Just notice something. The swimmer has a uh, Gary Hoax's freaking haircut. <laughs> She's a big fan. The CGs are either cute or really cool. Huh. I'm gonna call it there. And next time... Oh, don't want to click the lead. Don't want to click yes. On Stadium 2 with friends named either Scott or Callus. Or whoever. More Challenge Cup.